The next section we're going to look at in the TMJ Atlas is the tooth form and occlusal relationship section. And so we'll click on that. And this is the morphology of the occluding surfaces and how to do wax ups. And there's a slideshow on this from Harry Lundeen and a nice slideshow on tooth colored waxing from Tony DeHair, which I will not show you at this point in time, but they're very, very good adjuncts for lab work on this. So we have an introduction of the interdigitation. We have a 3D model here that is, illustrates class one, class two, and class three malocclusions, and a number of other media types. This is a simple opening and closing, but it shows the relationship of the contact points, another way of illustrating that. And again, another way of illustrating the contact points. This is from the lingual view. So we have a great number of these types of animations, different styles that you can look at, choose the one that you learn the best from. Eccentric relationships, um, again, family of videos that we have that show some of these relationships clinically. And you can go in and look at these on an animated model and see how that works there too. This section also includes the detailed reference information that goes in and illustrates um, in very high level the relationships that aren't covered in the summary sections. So we'll go through this. Um, these are styles of occlusion relationships that are developed in prosthetic rebuilds of a mouth. There's a section here on denture occlusion, prosthetic tooth relationships. For instance, balanced occlusion, you've got lingualized occlusion, et cetera. And this is the philosophies behind those. The Termination of occlusal surface forms was done by Blaine Cleghorn at um, Dalhousie. And there are slideshows here that show how this works. We'll not go into those right now. Um, but there is extensive amount of supporting media here in this area. And this goes into these in great detail. So let's go to the section here on articulators, and there's a very big section here on the different types of articulators, and we've tried to include essentially every articulator that's on the market, and it shows you what they look like, uh, what the, describes their features, and also actually goes into describing how to use these things and how to set them up. So um, this is a tremendously valuable resource from an articulator standpoint. Introduction to the Whitmix Model 2240 articulator. As with all articulators, So for instance, that was an example of a commercially available movie from the manufacturer that describes the uses of that particular articulator. And this goes through here and picks up almost everyone that's currently on the market and how to set these up, face bow transfers, et cetera, et cetera. And it goes from the simpler articulators to the very complicated ones that are on the market. The last thing is occlusal resources. And while this page looks simple, it represents an enormous amount of content. The occlusion by Niels Gouget is a 127 page document that describes the human occlusion and it's a landmark monograph that's a very good resource material. The slideshow by Harry Lundeen shows the waxing philosophy of developing the occlusal surfaces. It's excellent for lab prep. The slideshows presentations by Charles Goodacre um, are the lectures he uses when he's teaching occlusion and temporomandibular joint. I won't open these up because they're very large and they take a long time to load, but these can be used as is in a classroom or they can be modified and the material included into your own lectures if you're a teacher.